Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I'm going to talk about how can we set a number of rows in a file in Databricks. So, before the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here, I upload videos on Azure Databricks, Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python and so on. So, if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. And this is my LinkedIn page. Okay, so this is my LinkedIn profile. You can follow me over the LinkedIn and ask me anything about the SQL thing or about anything related to the Azure Data Engineering. Okay, so now let's get started for today's video. So this is my community edition of Databricks. You can see, and this is the file which I'm gonna read it to the DBFS location. Okay, so what if if I run this uh, cell and uh, if I do a display? display the yep. now you can see like we have around 126 rows present over here and these are the columns and right this is the columns we have it now i want to write this into the uh, into the dbfs or we can say any external location so for that what i will do i will i will write this df dot write dot save not save mode i will use uh, Override, you can use append or anything based on your need, and then I will use here save. And uh, the saving location would be let me use my location. So I am using here this output slash let's say uh, test underscore one two three, hmm. and let me run this and what if if i do a db utils files i mean a file list command so if i run this command then we can see how many files is being generated over here so if i do this then you can see we have couple of files generated okay And again, let me run this and uh, let me change the location. Now, if you can see only one part, I mean, one, uh, one partition file is being generated in this location, and second one is the delta log file. Okay, now. What I want to do, okay, let me do one one thing is that if I if I uh, you know try to load or read the data from this location, then we'll see how many records is is present over this file. Okay, so my bad. Yeah, now you can see we have this 126 file present. I mean, 126 rows present only in one file. Now, our task is to, you know, is to save uh, 10 records in each file. 10 records in each file. Now, if I have 126 26 rows, if I have 126 rows okay and i need to i need to uh, store only 10 rows in each of the file then total files would be total files would be 12.6 maybe 12 or 13 we can say okay we can say on 10 12 or 13 file would be generated in this location in order to do that i need to do some setting Okay, now what is the setting? There are two kind of settings. Uh, first one, we can use a session based setting, or uh, okay, session based, or we can say uh, on on the notebook level. So what I will write, I will write set spark dot sql dot 
files dot max file records records no, not file max records per file now we have to give some number as i said i need to store only 10 rows in each of the file so i will give here 10 and let me run this okay and now if i change the location and it's right now if i run this Then you can see we have multiple files. Now if I do a len of this, then we will see how many files are present. It could be 12 or 13. See, now 14 files. One file is a del delta log file and rest of the files are the part files or the partitions file. So it is stored, I mean, uh, uh, they converted 12.6 into 13. Okay, so we have 13 files and one file is the delta log file. Cool. This is the one way. Suppose you do not need to do on a database level, I mean database notebook level. You have multiple uh, kind of you know df dot write statements in one notebook for the different uh, tables, and you need to you know you need to change uh, you need to uh, change the number of files in in each of the files or table. Then you can write here also. Let's say I am writing this option. And option may you can write this last wala max record per file and you can give some number. Now I'm gonna give I'm gonna give uh, let's say uh, 30 30 records in each of the in each file. Now we should have four or five files, right? So let me give here 30. See, I am running this command also, and later on, on top of this command, I am running, I am running this command. Okay, sorry, and let me change the location. Give, let me give three. And if I try to, re, I mean, do the length of this, uh, you know, a number of files, then it is saying six because it converted four point two to five. Okay, in like in, in last in last file maybe uh, you know it uh, distributed like thirty one or thirty two files of rows in each each of the file. Now and I mean uh, wait and sixth one is the delta underscore log file. Now you have noticed one thing that I have written this thing. Okay, later on if I run whenever I run this, the priority is. The, the priority is this command, okay, which is written on the cell, means not the cell, on the uh, right, uh, right uh, command, okay. So, if you want to do the same thing for all the tables, all the files, then you can use this command. But if you do not want to do for each of the files, you need, you need to kind of, uh, you know, uh, set, set different, different uh, values for different kind of files, then you can use this method. So, Okay, so I hope you have understood this concept and uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you if you are liking my content or share with your friends over the LinkedIn, over the, you know, any other platform if you are using some other platform so that, you know, I will be, I will get more reach uh, towards my videos or, you know, uh, towards my content. So, thank you. Bye-bye.